For our first story, we focus on the United States. Uh, of course, the presidential race, the, the beginning and the preparations for it has begun. And we've had President Park Geun-hye in Korea and in Taiwan, we had uh, Tsai Ing-wen. So maybe another female leader is in the making in the U.S. We don't know for sure yet, but it certainly seems like a two-horse race in the presidential primaries. Uh, we have Bruce Harrison joining us in the studio right now. Uh, Bruce. The candidates attacked one another on Wall Street reform, health care, and gun control. Do we have a clear front runner emerging from the event this time? It's hard to say, Daniel. I like what you said there, a two horse race at this time. There were three candidates on stage, including former Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley, but it's really uh, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton and uh, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders battling it out. Uh, they only have the numbers right now that could propel one of them into a challenge against the Republicans this fall. Going into the debate, Clinton led in the polls nationally, but Sanders has been closing the gap in early voting states. The two sparred intensely over health care, with Clinton accusing Sanders of planning to tear up President Obama's signature Affordable Care Act in an attempt to start over. No one is tearing this up. We're going to go forward. But what the secretary neglected to mention, not just the 29 million still have no health insurance, that even more are underinsured with huge co-payments and deductibles. Tell me why. Clinton and Sanders also criticized each other's records on gun control. Ahead of the debate, many voters were still uncertain which candidate they were leaning toward. Well, it's been like up and down. Um, uh, I am really looking forward to hearing everybody. I haven't made a decision who else I'm going to vote for, for yet, but uh, I'm just waiting to hear everybody's views. First primary contest is in Iowa on February 1st, followed by the New Hampshire primary a week later.